spin the wheel faster. But yeah, we're still in this place. Ah, no, it's different because it's a different door. I want to go through that door though. I always like the middle ones. Oh shit, Grandma actually has technology in her home. I'm starting to worry about the. F I'm starting to worry about the future. Grandma's condition continues to get worse. Is she going to stay like this for the rest of her life? I hope not. What will happen if I have to leave for college? Who is going to take care of her? The way it is now, I can barely leave her alone for two seconds without a break and something. Fucking bitch. I'm currently in my third year of high school, so I still have a little bit of time to think about that. Hopefully I'll come up with a solution later. Me. Who leaves journal entries around their home? I'm just saying. Oh, fuck off. Not this place again. Right, there's two of them. Oh, wait, no, this is a different place. Oh, oh I thought that was a bag of food. Hello, Teddy. Hmm. Someone's nailed that shut. And I ain't getting in any time soon. There's someone walking around out here. I request that you stop. Nay. Oh, wow, this isn't claustrophobic. What a waste of fucking space. Oh. Yeah, just follow the light, basically. Hmm? Oh, it's this show again. I don't know what's going on. I just entered my senior year of high school. It's time to start thinking about what happens after high school. I recently applied for this scholarship. I'd pay for basically all my expenses, including tuition, room and board, and everything else. My biggest issue right now is my grandma. We don't really have any relatives or anyone to take care of her besides me. I'll have to take care of her for the rest of my life. The answer seems to be yes. Her condition keeps getting worse and worse. I know this is selfish, but I feel quite bitter about this current situation. I have to keep making sacrifices for her sake. Hopefully I'll think of a solution sooner rather than later. He immediately grabs a gun. Hey, it's Grandmama! You jiggling? Oh, she's jiggling. She's a moth. Damn it. Door is locked. Hmm. What are you doing, Grandma? You silly little... You silly little thing. Hmm. Never seen yellow TV static before. Grandmama. Are you here, my Grandmama? Do you wish for me to come to you, Grandmama? The door is locked, Grandmama. This door is locked too, Grandmama. You're not getting in. Oh. Oh, she unlocked the door for us. How kind. Grandma. I love Grandma. Why is this door locked, though? Why do you have to lock doors? You fucking insane elf. Grandma, don't cry just because you're a little simple. Ah, bye, Grandma. 
Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Are you frightened? Are you without hope? Are you without God? I don't know. I'm just at Grandma's house. Are you lost? Yes. How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Yes. Are you scared? Yes. Are you frightened? Yes. Are you without hope? Yes. Are you without God? Yes. It's gonna offer me a payment plan now. That's how this works. Ooh, dragon boats and a bird boat. I don't know, Grandma Ma was into Chinese culture. That's kind of neat. I think it should probably be a racist or some shit. Why can't I get into my room? I assume this is my room. Grandma. I want Grandma. Why is the Flintstones theme stuck in my head now? I hope you're happy, Grandma. I have great news. I was one of the recipients for the scholarship. There is a downside though. I can only use it on certain colleges. The lists they gave me are all too far away to commute on a daily basis from our house and the college, so I would definitely have to move. Problem there is that I would be able to get killed by Grandmama. I can't just leave her. She can't cook or buy groceries or do anything by herself. I'm practically a caretaker rather than her grandson. If I leave her, she'll probably wind up dead from starvation or some sort of accident. I feel like I don't have many options here. I mean, you could put a leash on her and take her with you. Come on, Grandma. Here you go. No. Don't piss on the carpet, Grandma. Not again. Ah, my bedroom. It's covered in eerie lights. Isn't that right, Bunyan? That's a cute name for a rabbit, Bunyan. It's like onion, but bunny. Yes, yes, I heard the baby cry, and that's why I walked away. Oh, hi, Bunyan. Are you leaving me too? Yes. Whoa! Calm down there, you fucking bitch. You're not giving me much choice, Grandma. I want to become the greatest esports player known to man and woman and child. I will become the greatest esports player since esports player number one. There is no note. Okay. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Bunyan. Where is Bunyan? Hey, he's returned. Ned's hammer. We'll grab the hammer and we will free you. Can bunnies eat onions actually? I figured they can't because they're useless. Grandmama, where's the fucking hammer, you fucking bitch? I'll feed you to the dogs. Hmm? Oh. There it is. Let's see if any other drawers are openable. No. 
No. Banyans. There we go. And not a single grandmother in sight. Grandma, where are you, you scallywag? You don't even leave me notes anymore. Hmm. Grandma! Ah, oh, you cur. You filthy cur. You're playing hide and seek with me. Don't listen to her, Bunyan. Grandmama! You return to us! Give me a big old kiss. Mm. Grandma Milkies. Hmm? Where am I? Is this a film studio? Am I on TV? Oh, it's the office. James, it's been a while since our last encounter. That was a lot of information to absorb. I hope you got most of it, but I'll try to summarize the best that I can. Your mother's a sociopath. You're trying your hardest to get by high school while also taking care of your grandmother, along with holding a part-time job. At the end of high school, you had amazing grades and received a full-ride scholarship. The only problem was you would have to leave your grandmother to attend college. She raised you all by herself after your parents passed away. It tore you up inside, knowing that you would have to abandon her to move forward in your life. Slowly but surely, her condition kept deteriorating to the point where it was an extreme burden to provide Just care for her. Just pile her on a ship and send her out into the ocean. You to make a choice, abandon her and move on with your life, or throw away a full ride scholarship and sacrifice your potential to take care of her. Are you ready to find out what choice you made? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Well, I won't make you wait any longer. You chose to stay. Um. You felt that it would be wrong to abandon her, especially when she needed you the most. She took care of you when you were abandoned, right? Yes. You were just returning the favor. If you haven't noticed, this area represents your old job. The one you worked while taking care of your grandmother after you graduated. First thing you should probably do is sign in. Enter the door to your left and find your ID card. I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Good luck. Bye bye. The door to my left. Okay. That was your left, and I knew that. Oh, look at the little flag. It's cute. Another day on the job, they say. Hmm. There's someone in this shitter. Oh well, we'll use this one. Oh. See, it must be hot here too. Ah, the ID card. If Grandma loves me, uh, I take care of her. Then why is she haunting me with hugs? No. Are you sure you wish to sign in? It's pretty dark and creepy back there. Yes. Number of boxes organized. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh no. Please tell me I'm not doing what I think I have to do. 
Oh, I have to do this individually? Jesus Christ. Where am I? Amazon? Uh, that's kind of like hell. Uh, man, when you die, you go to Amazon. Who would have funk it? Why am I the one doing this? Couldn't you have put Joffrey in it today? You know I hate this shift. Kinda. Yes. <laughs> I actually kind of feel like a postmaster, so yes. Oh, I just did a damn job. I sure love being an underpaid wage slave for Super Amazon. Hmm? That's probably nothing, boy. Let's go back to pounding boxes. Eight hours? Damn. People do 12 hour shifts. And this is just carrying fucking boxes. Also, you better not stop me. I I'm finishing this. I never leave a job half done. Hey, I think you missed one. Look over there in the corner. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep fucking doing this. <laughs> Are you having fun watching me? Observer or whatever your name was. Because I'm gonna do this until all is done. Cause I'm a good corporate wage slave. Does it get tiring? Doing this job day after day, only to come home having to care for your elderly grandmother. She gave me the milky though, so I can't complain. I'm a wage slave working at Amazon. Got my family and kids with guns pointed to their heads. If I don't work, they die. Jeff Bozos, that's why. Do you ever feel regret? Yes. Maybe you should have just taken the scholarship and ran off. Nope. This is this is this is the average life of the average man. Go. We're almost done with a shelf. You see that, boss? You're not gonna kill my family, right? You and your pedophile friends. Think of all the potential you wasted. Was it worth it? Yes. Doing the same thing every single day. Yes. What a stupid fucking name, Bozos. Jesus Christ. Oh look, it's fucking Bozo. With his shitty company. Now he makes employees piss in bottles. What a fucking simp. Are you anxiously waiting to get home? Yes. 
I don't know really, it's kind of therapeutic once again to a rhythm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's worse jobs in the world. There could be a maintenance for one. Shit. There we go. Mm-hmm. 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 It might seem like I'm trying a little here, <laughs> but I'm just relaying the thoughts you had at the time. Okay, if you say so, my friend. I'm a good employee. Sorry about that. I was just itching my eyeball. Please don't tell my boss. He'll cut off my hands. Okay, I think I'm done with all the bags almost. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? Sacrificing the future yep. for the present. Sacrificing all that potential to have a clear conscience. Yes. Was it worth it? Yes, I'm a good boy. Maybe even the best boy, as they say. Yes. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm continuing. I'm doing overtime. I gotta get those wages somehow. Being paid minimum wage to do this. Every time I don't deliver the Required amount of boxes and of a finger they cut off my daughter's hand, but I don't even have a daughter That's the scary part Hey okay, overtime, baby Let's see the rest we've done another shelf How do I crouch? Oh, I can just pick them up through the shelf. Sweet. <laughs> this dude's probably so pissed off right now. <laughs> Having some problems picking up some of the boxes though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't reach that one. It is bugged. I just want to grab it so I can get this done. Okay, that's another one. Oh, excuse me when I just there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have no potential in life. Just a slave of the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. We better get another achievement once we do all these. Eh. These boxes are blocking my path. But I'll get it done. Ah, 
Oh shit. There's quite a lot of them actually. Do do do. Oh do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I mean, you can't pay just to carry boxes around. I mean, it can't be that bad. This seems like a simpleton's ideal job. I mean, I could probably do this if I put on some muscle. But I'm fat and slow. So I wouldn't be a good candidate for the job. If I don't do this, the man's gonna feed my my children to the dogs. Okay, we're done with all the Chinese food. I assume this is takeout. Should have taken that one and saw what happens. Do 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 Yep, <laughs> no longer stacking. <laughs> oh fuck, I think I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to do it for this long. Well, it's time to go home, I guess. I'm stealing this parcel though because man Yeah no I can't I can't put it on the shelf. It appears I've gone on strike. Oh dear. No, please don't start a union. They're going to shoot at us. Oh, great. <laughs>